Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day making some really good trades and I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend as well and let's dive in right into Bitcoin right now. Let's take a look at that weekly close on the DBSI on Market Cypher. As we can see right now, we just got our new weekly close and we, as you can see, we have a beautiful green dot on the weekly time frame and maybe we have potentially found a local bottom for the Bitcoin price. Now, this doesn't mean that the bottom is in and that's it. We're not going to go any lower. Absolutely not. I still think that we have some significant, you know, a little bit more downside in the in the Bitcoin price. I still think that we'll probably go as low as maybe 12,000 to maybe 30,000. All, it all depends on how low the traditional markets go. But for the time being, we have a green dot. It has not confirmed yet. So let me just reiterate that. So we have not confirmed the screen dot yet. The weekly close is six days and 23 hours away. So there's still a lot of time for the Bitcoin price to keep on dumping. And then that would invalidate this green dot. And as you can see in previous prices in previous cycles, we've had some green dots confirming the bottom of the Bitcoin price, as you can see right here. And during the 2017 crash, the Bitcoin price bottom around here, well, actually went as low as $3,014, but we got our green dot confirmation when the price started to level off around 32,000, right? Now for the 2014 cycle, we when we, we saw our first green dot, we got a bit of a rally actually, as you can see right here, you know, the price got a green dot around this area and it rallied up about 13%. It did get another wick a couple weeks later as high as 24%, but ultimately continued to roll over down another, you know, 50% or so. And then totaling, sorry, leveling off around $152. It's kind of funny thinking about a $152 Bitcoin price since we're at 19,000, but that, that's what the price was at the time. Uh, now, I actually think that we're in a similar cycle right here rather than the 2017 cycle. I think we found a potential local bottom in the Bitcoin price and we could potentially get a small rally, small to you know medium term rally uh, as high as maybe 25,000. But again, we still have to get over that 200 weekly. We've closed a couple candles now two candles under that 200 weekly moving average and that is going to provide uh, be proving a significant amount of resistance and we could take a look at the price right now it is 22,551 and the 300 weekly is at 16,779 so ultimately i still think on the macro side we still have a lot of downside but for the time being bitcoin is actually forming a very nice w pattern i don't know if uh, other big youtubers are talking about this yet but uh uh, usually when they start to talk about these patterns it tend, they, then they tend to not play out <laughs> but for now you know we can see that we've been kissing this trend line right here acting as resistance that we flipped as support for a little bit a lot of people were speculating even i was speculating a uh, potential you know inverted uh head and shoulders but you know it didn't end up it didn't end up playing out and we uh, topped out around 21,913 before reversing down and now we found a, some support again around this area right here. We got that, we caught that big reversal. So congratulations to you guys in the Discord, which by the way, the Discord is free for the general chat. So you guys can feel free to join. The link is in the description. But if you want to see my trades, you're going to have to become gold members and you can either pay that monthly membership or you can do the lifetime membership. Actually, is going to be, uh, I'm going to make a post in the Discord later for people who want to be lifetime members and just want to make a big one time payment. But overall, yeah, right now we are over that trend line once again. If we do get some pump, we could probably see maybe some upside until $22,346, which would probably coincide with uh, the 200 weekly moving average. But, you know, don't bet the farm on it. You know, I still I am looking at this major pattern right here. And again, we did have this measured move from 40,000 down to 26,000, which it's a perfect measuring move from 31,930 all the way down to 18,400. But I'm looking at this bigger one right here, which is basically from 68,000 or 69,000 all the way down to 33,000. And a perfect measure move from 48,000 would go all the way down here to 13,176. So I still think Bitcoin has some downside, but it doesn't mean we can't get some upside in the short term. 
and let's take a look at a few other coins as well i know a lot of people have been missing me doing some analysis on some altcoins and we'll talk about the gold price too in just a bit but uh, well let's cover some altcoins right here and we can take a look at ada right now has a major trend line that is going to come into contact eventually you know you can see right here ada is holding that 44 cents or 45 cents level quite well for the time being but if we do break you can see some downside all the way down here to possibly 40 cents which is the next major support right here you got a beautiful bounce around there and the top around here so that would be my next major support after that you could probably take a look around 18 cents i don't think we will find much support around this area but overall looking quite good for ada if we do get up if we do break this trend line towards the upside you can potentially go up as high as 68 cents or maybe as high as 76 cents which is the previous resistance around this area but we got to take out these previous highs right we got to take out a lot of resistances before we get to these levels right here those are probably like the the major targets you got to look at the minor targets first and let's take a look at KK. KKX actually we just added this to our charts in the discord but this chart is actually looking quite good as well you can see the cake or pancake swap <laughs> sorry is a uh, in this trend line right here we did get we did get a breakout and then you're seeing some resistance around this trend line right here you actually falling wedge in my opinion so looking quite good for a breakout right now if it does start to move up towards the upside you're going to see some resistance around three dollars and eighty three cents if it can take that out five dollars after that and after that if it keeps going higher probably nine dollars but again you, you got to take out those lower resistance before you, you start to take on those uh those higher ones uh, let's take a look at one more that i mentioned in the discord chain link chain link again a major trend line as well if chain link does end up getting a pump towards the upside if the bitcoin price starts to break up then you probably want to take a look at this trend line right here around 11 dollars or 10 dollars and 79 cents but again you got to take out this resistance right here around eight bucks and 75 cents before hitting that target but it's always nice to take a look at ma major trend lines you know you could have ant anticipated this beautiful short right here from $17 all the way down to $5 if you could look at major like macro trend line. So always take a look at the bigger picture guys. It always pays off. But yeah, overall, you know, a lot of the coins are looking uh, quite bullish in my opinion, right? This is my opinion. Uh, you can see that you were, we were, we're in some descending channels right now and eventually these break towards the upside. We've actually seen a beautiful break on AVAX actually running into some resistance. The first level of resistance right here around $21.92 and it looks quite good right now to possibly come back and retest this resistance once again. Uh, but you know, if it, if it broke it on the first time, I would probably be quite bearish. I probably would have shorted it. If it broke out probably around 28 dollars if it went straight there but it's actually nice to see that it broke out retests a resistance and now retesting this this channel right here as support and is getting some nice movement towards the upside but you know let's see how things play out no stress just sit on your hands watch your trades play out and we're actually finding quite a lot of success with our high leverage trades now so i'm, I'm sure a lot of gold members are really happy all the all my profit loss histories are posted in the discord not much trading today though very low volume in the markets it's a it is a sunday and it's a holiday weekend so and i don't i didn't expect too much volume and as you can see a lot of the volume was pretty negligible <laughs> these last couple of days so we're probably gonna have to wait till tuesday before we see some volume again but let's take a look at some uh, things that i was reading about gold and uh, someone left a comment in my youtube videos today saying how the good luck with our investments because uh over 12 <laughs> 12.5 trillion dollars worth of gold has been found in uganda right so i've read a couple of articles already and some of them are stating that there's 320 million tons of gold right in 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 the in uganda or that have been discovered in uganda some are saying uh, 31 million tons of gold and honestly it's probably the the lower number and mind you this is not pure gold this is gold ore right so there's, there's a lot of misconceptions of what people don't understand between pure gold and gold ore so gold ore right for every one ton of gold ore which is basically dirt and rocks that contain gold you get if a very a very high grade ore you would get around 10 grams of gold right and this is saying if it's all 100 percent pure ore 
for a pure high grade gold ore which is probably which probably is not the case because never not everything is you know goes according to plan and not everything is as as is as people say it is so you always got to take it with a grain of salt but i give it the benefit of the doubt i did the math <laughs> and it, let's say for the whole 31 million tons of gold ore is all high grade and it contains every ton of gold contains 10 grams of gold ore. sorry 10 grams of pure gold for every one ten, ton, ton of gold you would get 310 million grams which equates to 10.9 million ounces of gold well so it's like 10 10 million nine hundred thirty four thousand nine hundred twenty eight ounces of gold million ounces of gold would give you a total of 19.6 billion dollars of gold so a fraction of the amount that is stated in the news so always do your research yourself and do the math yourself i'm pretty sure i did my math correctly and I've, I've 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 also done some research with people already saying that this is just fake news if it was true you would have seen a massive impact in the gold price because if obviously the market cap of gold is around 10 trillion dollars if you were to add 12.5 trillion to the mix the gold price would be tanking right now and the market is extremely efficient and reacts to real news not fake news so to always do your research yourself before you make investment decisions and panic sell and to to the regards of what people are saying about gold stocks you know those people selling gold stocks right now panic selling because the government is going to tighten were the same people that believed that inflation was transitory and they're still believing the fed till this day saying they got the tools they need they they have to fight inflation and you know what if they got the tools why aren't they using them but yeah overall that nice to nice to debunk that news right there get the correct information out at least the correct information that i believe but yeah overall some good analysis tonight hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to leave a like and subscribe we'll really appreciate that so help support the channel if you guys want to join the discord you can I, that's where i post all my stock trades my crypto trades on spot and leverage and my long-term uh, investments on the market as well and if you guys don't want to join the discord well you guys can always join the general chat in the discord which is free right now and it will probably be free for the forever now it's just nice nice to have a lot lots of some new people get in and educated we got some really good traders in there all the time always posting trade ideas for free not my trades but their trades and always their their, their analysis on the end of discord but yeah thanks for supporting the channel guys i'll catch you guys on the next one